hello guys welcome to another tutorial um today we're going to be talking about move set switching again i did a previous tutorial on move set switching before um but this is a new one just a, a lot better way to do it than the previous way i did it uh, just for a quick recap the previous way i did it was i had several unique characters so to speak in the level and these characters let me see if i can find them here real quick okay yeah so what i did was i had several unique characters and i just dragged them into the level and then i streamed the level in and i uh, got references to these characters from the uh by using a get of all actors of class and then finding the unique names and all that but that's just uh, and then after that I went into the uh, player controller and did the actual main event in here where I said uh, if I wanted to switch to uh, for example a soul master or an assassin then it would get the properties in the RPG component of the assassin class and uh, replace my own properties in my RPG component with that of the uh, of the assassin and so on and so forth well this is a bit of a different way to do it um, without further ado what I did was I just took my uh, main main character in this case man DP and before normally you just have one RPG component in it but what I did was added multiple RPG components so uh, each one is going to house settings for each class so um, this way you don't have to get any hard references or get, you know use any of those um, hardcore slow operations like get all actors of class or get get all actors with tag and so on and so forth um, so like you can see here it's the same RPG components it, is, it has the same uh, each one has the same uh, properties but on each like each one can uh, hold different uh variables and that's just what i did for so for example on this one you can see the current class is called assassin here and so on and so forth um then specifically for this showcase uh what's supposed to change is the light attacks you know the movesets when you switch classes right so that's basically just what i did so you can see in the default rpg component i have this four light attacks and uh, for the assassin they're about 12 and it's uh here it's back to four but it's different you can see here it says longest attack in the in the one i used before this attack move uh in the assassin it's kb uh for uh, the rest you know and so on and so forth so basically each rpg component can hold um several uh, and you can use this in any in um, you know many ways so i have to quickly test this out uh, <laughs> so if I were to, to like assuming my default was the assassin stance where um, I'll be using hand-to-hand -hand combat if I was going to pick up this weapon and I'm now in knight automatically it's uh, going to be to the uh, pressure terrorist stance in my case the dragon knight stance uh, the main so how this is happening inside of the uh, controller my blueprint is uh, it's here you know you just you click on something uh, you I mean you, you, you have an input uh, once the input goes through I uh, you know it executes everything it needs to execute all the conditions and it checks uh, if you're currently in a stance uh, you go out of that stance so you can go into another stance if you have your weapon equipped you you, you holster it so that you can equip your other weapon and so on and so forth um, and then it majorly comes in here where it just sets the class you want to change to to a specific class right so if I pick up the knight weapon for example it would set it would come all the way here and set it to I mean if, okay if I picked up the, the knight weapon and I wasn't and I have everything uh, unequipped and then I press the let me see which one is it and, I, and then I press the, the seven button on my keyboard it will execute all of this um, if I have anything equipped it would host it and then it would come all the way here and set the class I want to change to to be that of the dragon knight and then 
uh, it would come all the way here, which is the final piece of the puzzle where it actually switches the movesets. And here it just gets uh, my own current RPG component of the character I'm currently using and checks to see which class I'm intending to switch to, which would have been set here. And then it gets the other RPG components that are on my character and uh, replaces uh, my montages with uh, one of those ones that we've already stored before. So, for example, if it's the Dress and Return, it comes in here and uh, executes this code where you have uh, all of this, uh, you know, been replaced. Uh, so, that's just basically it's a really short video. I just wanted to show uh, a different nuance to everything that. Thank you.